So welcome to some very cool Dragon Quest news. Some Dragon Quest XI news. So in Japan last night they had a press conference at Square Enix and they were showing all their brand new Dragon Quest games that are coming out in Japan. And at the end there was an entire section devoted to Dragon Quest XI. So they showed a little bit of Dragon Quest VIII on the 3DS. Dragon Quest of the Stars, that is a cell phone game. Dragon Quest Battle Scanner, which is an arcade game. Dragon Quest Builders, which is a lot like Minecraft for the PS4, PS3, and Vita. Dragon Quest Heroes 2, they showed that for the PS4, PS3, and Vita as well, but they only showed a screenshot. Uh, they showed Dragon Quest Monsters, uh, Joker uh, 3 on the 3DS, and Dragon Quest 10 was confirmed for the PS4, which was unusual. Now what's cool is Dragon Quest XI is a single player game and is coming out in 2016 on the PlayStation 4, the 3DS, and get this, the Nintendo NX, the NX. I know, I was so surprised to read that this morning. I had to read it a bunch of times. I'm like, is it really coming out on the NX? Isn't this the first game that's, you know, officially been unveiled for the NX in any capacity? Even Nintendo hasn't talked about their NX yet. So that was really unusual to hear and I, I had to read it a bunch of times to make sure I was not hallucinating. I'm like, the NX? So, but let's back up here. Let's just talk about the game. It's coming out for PS4. They showed a version of the PS4 and it looked gorgeous. It looked incredible. Uh, a main character running around a city environment, then going off into the world. There's a waterfall in the background and it looked gorgeous. No combat. They didn't show any combat for the PS4 version yet. But graphically, it looked up there with Dragon Quest VIII. And that was a really beautiful looking game back in the day. And I think this looks fantastic. It really, really does look amazing. So, there's that version, the PS4 version, coming out 2016. There's also a 3DS version coming out, and it will be released at exactly the same time. This is what's mind-blowing. It's really unusual to, to have this happen. What's unusual about the 3DS version is, on the top screen is the 3D version. You can play in 3D, but you can also play a 2D, a top-down 2D uh, version, like the old Dragon Quest games. So, I had a hard time wrapping my head around this, and in a way, to me, I'm almost seeing three different games. The PlayStation 4 version, which is a graphical, uh, you know, beautiful looking thing, running on the Unreal 4 engine. And then we have the 3D version of it on the 3DS, which is a beautiful looking thing into itself. Looks a lot like Dragon Quest IX. And then a 2D overhead version that looks a lot like Dragon Quest, you know, like 6 or, you know, 7. So three different versions, it feels like, all of the same game. So. What interesting news, I was really blown away by this game, and just, just just back up for a second to give you a little bit of history. The last single player offline game that we got, and you could play 9 this way, but was really on, on a home console, on a home console, was 8. That was the last uh, standalone home console version was 8. Then we got 9, which was a kind of a, a, a multiplayer game on the 3DS, which was a great game. You could also play offline by yourself. And then 10 came out, and 10 we never got. 10 was an online uh, only game, but it only came out in Japan, sadly. It came out on the 3DS, the Wii, the Wii U, and sadly we never got it, and even the PC in Japan, but we never got that. So, you know, let's cross our fingers that in the future that we will get uh, this Dragon Quest XI. It's, it's really exciting stuff. I was really blown away by the news. It looked fantastic. But, uh, yeah, will we get it? I think eventually we will. I think eventually we will. So, I just wanted to share this incredible news. An NX game? A Nintendo NX game? Wow. One of the first ones announced so far. So, anyways, guys, until next time.